University. I'm He, joined by Beth from Zeman Games. How are you? I'm good. That's ah, good. We have a really exciting game to share you today. Pandemic Rapid Response. It is pandemic, but it's a different pandemic. It is. Please let us know what it is about. Yeah, so Rapid Response is set in the same world as regular pandemic, but yep. uh, you are on a specially equipped cargo plane and you are delivering emergency aid to mm -hmm. cities around the world. Yeah. Uh, so natural disasters have struck these cities. They're in need of food, uh, power. They need first aid, vaccines, water. Uh, so you'll move around the plane. You'll create uh, crates of supplies, put yep. those in the cargo hold, fly the plane, and then deliver the supplies. Yep. Now, this all happens in real time. <gasps> so, dun, dun, dun. so it's a real quick <laughs> game, yeah. Um, but we, we won't turn the timer yet. I'll just walk you through it. Yep. Uh, so everyone has their own That's dice. Four players. So yeah, so it plays up to four. Two to four? Mm -hmm. Two yep. to four, yep. yep. And everyone has their own set of dice, yep. which then also matches their pawn. Yep. Uh, and you get uh, a character, and each character has a different ability. Yep. Uh, so for example, my character is the flight planner, and when I spend a die to fly, I can move the plane an additional city. Yep. And I'll get into that when I talk about the movement. Mm -hmm. So uh, to start my turn, because uh, even though it's a real-time game, each of us will take a turn. Yep. Uh, and it'll go around in clockwise order, uh, but the whole time the sand timer will be running. So I would roll on my dice. Roll as well. Um, so okay. actually, I, just one player will roll their one dice. One player, that's yep. right. Yep. And then these results will let me do actions. Yep. So uh, let's see. Right now we have out Moscow and Lagos. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it looks like we need uh, water, power, and food are the yep. things that are most needed right now. Yep. Um, so actually, I have two food results. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe I would want to start working on that. So mm -hmm. what I could do is I could spend any die mm -hmm. to move. So I would put that on my reference sheet to know that I spent it. And I would move from the power room into the food room. Yep. Uh, I have two food results, so then one can be put into this space here, mm -hmm. uh, but this one's grouped and has two, so I actually would need another one before I could put it there. Yeah. Um, okay. But Yahtzee rolls, you can reroll your dice. Yeah. So I want to keep that one, but I'm going to reroll these. Uh, okay, I did get a food, yeah. which is great. So then I would want to place these right here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I want to reroll these, see what else I can get. Uh, I got one food in a plane. So uh, this one probably doesn't help me, but with this one, I could fly the plane. Yep. So with the plane die, put it here because I spent it. You can move the plane in either direction, mm -hmm. uh, but let's move it towards Lagos because that's what we're trying to work for. Mm -hmm. So I'd move it one there. Then uh, you can see here at the end of each grouping, there is a number of crates that are shown. Right now, the dice that are there, if I activated the room, I would only get a single crate mm -hmm. um, because that one needs two. We would want to fill out the whole track so that we can get three crates. Three crates, sorry. Yep. Um, sure. You also could just activate this one to get one and then put new dice there yep. um, and do it again. Um, but for efficiency's sake, sometimes you want to fill out the whole track yep. before doing it. So yep. that could be the end of my turn, and then yep. it would go to you. Yep. You would roll your dice and then see Here's what mine. you get. Uh, we'll have, we have used yep. the blue player, I believe. Cool. There you go. Oh, so many planes. I know. Um, so right now you're in the cargo hold. Yeah. So if you wanted to come and help with food, you would need to spend two dice to move two rooms. Ah, uh, okay. So let's say that you do that. Maybe yep. you move there and there, and then you would want to reroll these to see if you can get the food that we need. Food. Food. Nope. Oh, no. Maybe one more reroll and then try again. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. One ah, food. So you got uh, one, but you didn't get the other. Yeah. Um, luckily, your ability is that you can reroll your dice up to two additional times each turn. Yep. So roll that. you could reroll these three and keep that one. Roll. Maybe I'll let you roll this. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll. <laughs> technically breaking yeah. the rules, but that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, nope. Oh, I also had a bad no. roll. <laughs> here, you want to try for the last yep, one? Okay. See if we get food. Come on, food. I'm feeling hungry here. 
No. Okay, we didn't sorry. get it. Yeah. But uh, maybe we decided that getting one crate is important. Clock is ticking. Yep. We want to try and get something. So you're in the room. You would be able to activate the room. Yep. When you activate a room, these three dice come off. You would see I get one crate. You yep. take a crate, and it goes to the cargo hold. Then these three dice are pulled off, mm -hmm. and you roll these. So when the machinery is running, it's going to mm -hmm. create waste. There's you know oil and spillage and other things. So you're going to need to accommodate yeah. for that on the waste track. Yeah. So if you roll these three for me, we'll see what we get. Should we trust me with this? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, you did great. Yeah. So uh, when you roll for waste, you look for icons that have a circle around them. Yep. Anything that has a circle around it is one waste. Mm -hmm. So we only got one here, which is great. So this would go like that. If you ever reach the end of the track, you immediately lose. Everyone loses. Yep. Yeah. So uh, as you are creating uh, the crates, you're working the machinery, the waste yep. track will go up, yep. and someone's going to need to handle that. Yep. So if you moved into the recycling center, mm -hmm. uh, you can place dice. But in this case, instead of them being matching symbols, it's all different symbols. Yep. So this one could go there, yeah. this one could go there, that one could go there, and that one could go there. But right now, like. If that had been your role, those can't because you already have those symbols. Yeah. You would need that symbol, for example. Yeah. Now, you don't have to do this all yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, another player jump could in. jump in on their turn and maybe do this mm -hmm. um, if, their, if their pawn is in that room. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you move the waste tracker back by I whatever minus. the number is. Yep. yep. So if you did it right there, whoops, uh, that would go back too. Yep. And then this goes back to you, that goes back goes back to that player, and you keep going. This one. Okay. Yep. So that's kind of the basics, is that you know you move around the plane, mm -hmm. you create the supply crates, those go to the cargo hold, yep. you have to fly the plane to the city. Once you actually have the supplies you need for that city, so let's say that one. We need the two food, we need a power, mm -hmm. and we need a water. So let's say we have all of those. Yeah. Uh, someone has to go make that delivery. So you would need to spend a die. Uh, it could be anyone, but on your turn, let's say you spend a die and you yep. go in there. Mm -hmm. uh, then you would need a plane a result. Plane. Yep. So someone could leave a plane die there for you on their turn. Yep. Um, but as long as there is a plane die there and you were there and mm -hmm. the plane is in the city that it needs to be and you have the appropriate supplies, you can deliver your cargo. When you deliver it, it just goes back mm -hmm. to the supply rooms where it was, and this card will go off the board. Yeah, you successfully did your delivery. Yeah. Now, when you make a delivery, you get a new time token. You start the game with three, mm -hmm. um, and that is your clock. So uh, as the timer is running, if mm -hmm. you ever run out of sand, uh, you would lose a time token. Oh. And yeah. then you also flip a new city, which lets you know the next place a disaster has happened. Yeah. So then you would get a new time token every time you do a delivery. If you ever run out of sand and there's no time tokens, mm -hmm. okay. you lose. Yep. Yep. So two losing conditions? Yep. And winning condition is? Winning condition is delivering to all of the cities. Okay. So as a, the timer uh, runs out, you'll mm -hmm. get new cards. Mm -hmm. These go out. And then if you can successfully deliver to mm -hmm. all of them within time, you all win. How many numbers of delivery cards, of city cards? Uh, the easy level is five cards. Ah, yeah. Um, but then, as difficulty ramps up, because maybe you've played it a lot, you're used to it, you are yep. a master at real-time <laughs> games, yes. uh, the city card number will increase. Will increase, yeah. Um, there are also cards called crisis cards, and that's kind of expert mode, <laughs> 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 because they're, they're pretty difficult. But uh, yeah, you mix a few crisis cards into the deck, and then when those are flipped, mm -hmm. they are additional tasks that you have to that's complete, to okay. usually before you can do a delivery. There are some that happen immediately. There are some mm -hmm. that will go on top of cards. Yeah. But there's just an extra level of challenge. Yeah. Once you're like, I got this game, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nope. do that. Yeah. Here's another wrinkle. <laughs> yeah. Try again. <laughs> yeah. That's so that's that's kind of the gist of it. It's uh, yeah. real quick. Twenty minutes. And let's say if like two player games, me and Tan, who's behind the camera at the moment, mm -hmm. wants to play. So one character each, and there's kind of like different difficulty levels and different type of like, different cards. It's still numbers, it's still the same number of cards. Yep. Um, it you can play either by just doing 
one character each, or yeah. if you want to, you could have two characters. We do that for um, season one pandemic. Yeah, we, we've, <laughs> yes. pl we've played both ways. Yeah. Um, it's just more back and forth between the two of you yeah. instead of having to go around. Yeah. Um, but everything's still cooperative. It's still real time, yeah. and it's still like, oh, you have these results. Maybe you should try this. Maybe yeah. you should try this. Yeah. There's a lot of ways, isn't it? Like, oh, it depends on the cards. And are these cards are random as well? At the start? Yep. So yeah. there's uh, there's a whole set of of city cards. So part of setup is mm -hmm. just. Um, you'll flip a single card, yep. and that tells you where your plane starts. And then you'll put out the first two city cards, and then make a deck of three. Oh, okay. That sounds really good. It's it's different. Like when you first open the playboard, like that looks different than Pandemic. It's it is. yeah, it's very different. <laughs> yeah. And so this is the interior elements. of the plane. Yeah. yeah. Um. So like this is headquarters, and then yeah. there's the supply rooms, yeah. the recycling center, and the the cargo bay. Okay, it's so cool. Yeah. So is this game already out? It is going to be out on June twenty third. Okay. Yeah, uh, in the U.S. it will be at Target, yeah. but internationally it'll go through normal distribution, so it should be yeah. at your friendly local game store. Nice. So if they want to find out a little bit more, obviously there's, I'll put the link down below the video yep. and your website. Yeah, we we'll have, have we have stuff on our yeah. website, and uh, I know Z Garcia talked about it already. So there's a few few reviews out that people can check and, yeah. and see how they how they feel about it. Sounds good. Well, thanks yeah. so much for your time, Beth. Yeah, you're welcome.